good tubers your boy chugs back again today for another fishy update so today we overhaul the six foot sump underneath now that is where the water goes over the overflow goes through a variety of channels and back up through the pump i've noticed that there is not enough room for me to get my hands under there and clean properly so i want to get the extra two inches by removing these two by fours as you see in the picture this was overkill to begin with anyway uh, i only put them in for extra rigidity but it really doesn't need it as it's on a board down the bottom so the structural integrity of the stand or frame won't uh, be affected by this so all i did guys was get my drill and unscrew from the one side that i could get to as the wall is on the other side i then just got a hammer and a crowbar and pried out the pieces and pulled them until they came out this took me about four hours. It was a timely ordeal to say the least. And um, definitely wouldn't recommend it. Also, while that's happening, I'm giving you a quick water change. I say quick, but it takes me about two hours to fill it up. Um, and it's a solid 50 plus percent water change. Now there is foam still under the tank. It is hard to see, but it is there. Um, it is quite old foam. I will need to replace it soon or put a mat down to do have in the shed. The pipes are still in the same place, so... The plumbing didn't have to change or come out, which is really helpful. And um, honestly, just getting my arms in under the tank, it makes a world of difference. Thanks for watching another video on the 10-foot tank progress. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Cheers.